What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here, thank you for joining me. I do appreciate it. I am Elroy Martinez Jr. This is my YouTube channel. I like to create short films as well as make reviews to movies and TV shows that I have seen and I just wanted to uh, continue this channel with another review and as I've mentioned before, I was going to do the full review for season one of The Last of Us. So this is The Last of Us season one spoiler review and to get straight to it, I liked it a lot. I was a little bit disappointed as far as the lack of the infected. Um, other than that, the acting was amazing. You know, Pedro Pascal, who's been hitting it with everybody. You know, most people that have been watching him. He's, he's a star right now. The Mandalorian and The Last of Us. And he's just got this... He's just a likable guy. I, I mean, I don't know him personally. So maybe in that side of things, maybe not. But I'm, from the looks of it, maybe. I, I don't know. I, I don't care. I, I don't hang out with him. I don't talk to him. But I like his work. And... For the most part, whenever there is a project with him involved, I'm most likely going to see it because, one, it has to be an interesting project, but if it is an interesting project and his name is attached, then I'm most likely going to be drawn to it, like anything else with anybody else. Again, for me, I don't care for names. I, I don't, I'm not about a big name has to be attached to a project. I prefer seeing a project and the story itself. And wanting that to be good and it can be a newcomer as you know as in the project that I've never seen before. That's what I'm about. But in general, you know, Pedro Pascal is a likable guy in terms of the roles he's you know been in and I've seen interviews and he seems chill. So that does help in wanting to see the things that he's a part of. But you know, The Last of Us is a video game, it's based off a video game, and I enjoyed playing the video game. I've played the first one and beat it. I've played the second one and I didn't beat it because it was just too long for me and at that point I was just like I'm not going to dedicate myself to this game. Other than that it didn't mean I didn't like it. I just don't like long games to where I have to go here and there and find some batteries and stuff to like you know things like that. I just I don't really like in video games but it's a beautiful game but I did enjoy the first one and I will say having played the game and watching the show it's as close as you can get to a, a video game based show unlike you know some movies that have taken video games and haven't really done a great job and sticking to the actual story they usually go their own way and i hate that with film they did it with uh doom with the rock and carl urban like that wasn't doom why did you call it doom based on the video game it was trash you have um the recent Mortal Kombat the reboot, which you know, it was enjoyable, but I think the 1993 film did a better job in taking a tournament and creating the story and expanding on what we've known already from the second and third games. Because I believe it took from the second, and th I think the third, second and third games came out already, or the second game came out and the movie is when that's when the movie came out. So they kind of like already had some type of lore, but you know, it was done better. And then the reboot, as cool as it was, it was it was not as enjoyable as the first one for some reason i didn't like the new character of cole i think what it was was that it didn't really focus i don't know i think the setup for the first film was better done than the reboot but this isn't a mortal kombat review let's get back to the last of us what i'm trying to say is most video game adaptations are bad another point in case resident evil with uh, mila jovovich trash sorry mila you're awesome but the movie's trash but Silent Hill, the first one, the first movie, was pretty good as an adaptation. But again, that took liberties from a certain character that shouldn't have been in the first movie. But again, this is The Last of Us review. Sorry for going off on a tangent, but I was just trying to say The Last of Us did a really good job in what the video game is about. It still hit the same note, and I just thought it was awesome for the nine episodes that we got. Uh, you know, again, the character interaction with Bella Ramsey, who played Ella, and, you know, Joel, played, played by Pedro Pascal, was, you know, just awesome, and their role in this world, and whoever they've interacted with, and seeing similar, like, scenes that happen in the game, happening in the show, although a little bit different, but still, you knew, like, oh, I know that scene from the game, and, you know, other than that, it was good, but my biggest problem was the lack of infected. I felt like, for the most part, they were traveling to a location and it was just dialogue and driving and it was just like but i want to see some infected action in between and you really didn't get much of that 
I'm hoping season two is a lot more, a lot more um, tense and suspense going on. There was more interaction with the human elements, you know, being the enemies versus running from the infected. Not a lot happened there, and I want to see more from there. But you know, it it, it kind of took away from what the game is about, and you know, what, they, how, what you have to deal with. But I get it. You know, and they, when you're playing a game, it's different from the show, but. I felt like they could have added a little bit more infected stuff happening. But other than that, like, that is a perfect example of an adaptation of a video game into a movie or a TV show form. And sometimes TV shows are better because you can do more with it longer. And I think you have to stick to what was in the game with slight alterations, but don't go off on a big change of a difference. And it's like, this isn't the game. Case in point, Doom and Resident Evil. Who cares if I'm seeing something that I saw in the video game? I want to see that. Now, The Last of Us did that. Again, there were slight changes to such scenes. But it still was like, I know what that is. And it still followed. And I think that's what it needs to do. And I thought it did a great job doing it. I thought it was a great show. I really enjoyed it. I'm looking for season, going forward to season two. I'm hearing they're going to break it down into maybe two seasons. Based off of the second game. Um, I kind of wish... It doesn't affect the surprise that we get from the second game that was shocking. I kind of, I kind of want to see it early, but I feel like if it does happen early, most people will might have might be drawn away from the show. Um, that's what I think is going to happen. So that's probably why they're splitting it to have a particular individual to stay longer than. Most likely they were in the game. Again, I didn't pick the second one, but I know I think it happened fairly early on in the game. Um, but, yeah, I think that's the reason why they're splitting it. Because they might, you know, again, they're going to take liberties, drag out the story a bit, focus on elements that might not have been really focused on in the second game. Like they did with the first uh, season, with the first game, with the character of Bill. And that relationship with the guy that, you know, he eventually, you know, that, he, that got trapped at the ditch and, you know saves them and they have that relationship that wasn't a thing in the game but it was alluded to of a possibility with bill maybe being involved with somebody that was a guy but we ne- you never really saw that but you know they did that and it was fine it was cool you know you kind of give us a backstory and I, even though it was i felt like there should have been more to it that kind of really felt like it had a purpose i don't really know if there was a purpose much to seeing that for the characters of Joe and Bella to progress, um, maybe I may have missed it, but you know, even then, I didn't. It didn't bother me, but like they might do stuff like that with the second season, and yeah, I think it's going to be a really uh, big surprise for the people that don't know the video game and see what happens, and it's like what, and then you know to continue watching the show and see where it goes after that. But I really enjoyed it. If you haven't seen it yet, please check it out. HBO Max. I give it two thumbs up. Um, Again, if you like The Last of Us, the game, I think you'll like the show itself as well. Great actors all around from, you know, whether they had minor roles or a couple episodes. Like It was awesome, and I'm looking forward to season two. So if you've seen it already, let me know what you think. What are you looking forward to in uh, season two? And, yeah, leave a comment. Keep it professional. If you like the video, two thumbs up. Check out my other reviews to other films and shows, as well as my short films that I've created. I do appreciate that. And until next time, later.